What's up everyone? Good morning. Good morning. Happy hump day. Woo! <laughs> Benny is in the house today, already printing out. Today we're actually going to be talking all about how we personalize our bandanas here. And you can create some other products. We sell personalized cups and we do the custom dog breed mom shirts and we do all of our bandanas using the crickets. We use them every single day. And whether you're trying to make your own dog bandanas or you're making your own crafts or you want to make your own presents for gifting to people for their birthdays or Christmas or whatever it may be, this vlog is for you. Talking all about Cricut, our experience, what we use here in the office and how you guys can use it too. But first, we must say hi to Grace. Good morning, you look so beautiful. Say mom, I like beautiful every day. Uh oh, the jealous one is here. <laughs> She's like, I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs> she was sleeping on the couch and then I turned off the light in the room so she could sleep. <laughs> she loves it. What are you looking for? <laughs> she smells something. Hi, so beauty. So before I get into it, I will let you guys know I will have all the products linked down below if you're interested in looking into any of them. Starting off with what you, I can't get comfortable here, what you will be using to do your projects. So here's my little basket of vinyl. There's so many different types of vinyl. So we have iron-on and adhesive. So iron-on is what you will use to, as it says, iron on to any product. This is what we use every single day here for the dog bandanas is the iron-on vinyl and then adhesive vinyl is basically a big sticker. You will cut your design into this sticker material that you will then place onto whatever it is. So for cups, for mugs, for decals, windows, cars, really whatever you want to place a sticker on, that's what you will use for the adhesive one. So this one is glitter, then we have like a foil, these are all the iron-ons. This is the everyday, which is what we use every day here. This is what you would use like as a standard color. They have like every color of the rainbow and even more than you would ever think. Um, and then you also have the Sport Flex iron-on. So if you're making something that's stretchy, maybe like a sport penny or like maybe some anything stretchy. Um, we don't use this much, but in the picture you see a penny. Um, this is for that. And then we have this one is a foil iron-on as well. These ones are so beautiful for like a special occasion. And then these ones are the adhesive ones. So they also have foil and sticker ones. And then this one's a glitter one. So pretty. Um, I guess we can show this by the time this vlog goes up. It probably, hopefully won't need to be a surprise anymore. That we are using the adhesive one to place stickers onto our boxes. So the when they open up their box, their surprise box, then there's a beautiful one. This is from Cricut as well. This one's printed adhesive. So there's beautiful floral designs printed in there. And then I just cut out my design and stuck it on here. So, so easy to make something super fun and pretty. That was one of the designs. Here is another design. This one's pink. So my floral prints came in a pack of three different designs. So I switched up what we did on the boxes. And so there's three different ones available to the people who are receiving the boxes. So that's kind of what you will be using to cut out your designs. And then you will get these green mats. Whoa, a dog in the way. <laughs> this is adhesive and you will put your vinyl on here and feed it into your machines. So you will need these. This will come with your machine or you will have to buy them again later on. There are ways to clean your mats as well, but depending on how much you're using it, like us, we're printing hundreds of things a day. We do have to buy new mats. Maybe, what do you think, Benny, once a month? Uh, yeah. Maybe about right. once a month we switch out our mats here and then it sticks way better because eventually the stickiness is gone. So you will load. Here's a good example for this one. This one's already loaded on here, so you'll lay out your vinyl, and then you will push your buttons to load it in and out. And this is the machine that we use. This is our number one baby in this room. We actually have two, a boy and a girl. This one's Pinkie Pie, and this one's Minty Baby. Um, we actually do not call them that, ever. <laughs> I made them up on the spot. That was good. That was good improv. It sounds like um, My Little Ponies. Yeah. 
So these are the same exact machine, but we can print twice as fast when we have two of them. These are both the Cricut Explore Air 2s, and they print on both types of vinyl. And if you are interested in making something out of like leather, I know the Cricut Maker, which is like the next step up, prints on the, or like cuts out leather, which is really cool. We don't have that one. We don't use leather here, but I could see how that would be so much fun, especially for gifting to people. Like that is so unique, but we use the Cricut Explorer too, and we love it so much. We have never had a problem with it and we use it all day, every day. Like I am so impressed with how well it holds up. Don't you feel like? Yeah. It always it's works great. so well. And recently we found out that you don't even have to hook your computer up physically because it has a Bluetooth capability. So Venny can be sitting over here mm -hmm. and her computer can be over here, but she will be printing right now here. So that is very cool because we used to have these cords hooked up, but now we can multitask. There's also some other very cool capabilities. These markers fit into here and you can have your um, computer send over what you want to write. So if you want to make a thank you card and you don't like your handwriting, you can have the machine write it for you. And we did this for Christmas when we were giving out cards, right? Yeah, Remember I, did. and I showed you how that worked and you were like, yeah, that's so it was cool. Really pretty and, unique. and it looks like you hand wrote it because it's still a marker. So instead of like printing it from like a Epson printer or something, like it looks like I hand wrote it, but I didn't. So it was a little tricky. People will think you're way more talented than you actually are because they'll think that you did it. Um, which you did do it, but just not with your hand. Yeah, I feel like that is a lot about the Cricut that we use here. Can you think of any fun tips? Oh, I know one. What? What is our tip for, um, like when you're done weeding out the tiny parts? Yeah, so once I finish weeding this out, I actually take this over to the heat press and put a little heat on it and then take it off and it's so much easier rather yes. than um, peeling the whole sheet, just, you know, normal. Maybe we should explain what is even weeding. So weeding is you get your little Cricut um, weeding tool, I guess. Yes. You could say. And then you As you guys weeding. can see, there's like the insides of the letters mm -hmm. that you'll have to pull out. Yeah. This is called weeding in the Cricut world. Yep. And then when she pulls out all the centers, like on this one, then she'll just pull off the whole Maybe we should show them. Is yeah. this ready? Yeah, it's ready. So, she just uses her tool to pull up the, the edge. The corner right here. And then she gets it started, but she can use her heat to help loosen it up. So I just put this on the heat press, press it down a little. And then it just goes, it peels off much more smoothly and way faster. Yes. And now you can see it says big sister. And this is what we do all day in this room. Mm -hmm. Pe weed, print, cut, weed, peel, repeat. Yeah. Press, <laughs> we forgot the press. So satisfying. And this is sticky too. So mm -hmm. then we'll cut them out and find the bandanas that they belong on. And then we just press them on with our heat press, which you guys see us do all the time. It is so easy. It just takes a long time when you do a bunch of them. Look at all these pregnancy announcements. So cute. And we oh, have and graduation. Yeah. We've been doing so many graduation ones recently. Yes, we have because people are graduating. Mace like coming up. Someone we know. <laughs> She's finally going to be done. Forever. How does it feel to be done done? Relief. I feel relief. You Yesterday feel old was now? my last lab ever. Mm. And it was so weird and surreal. Like it feels like it's What I class know, like I is have it? More. It was organic chemistry too. Oh <gasps> that would be so hard. Oh, it was hard. But thankfully it was great because the last lab was only 20 minutes long. Wow. Usually they're like three hours. He rewarded you. Mm hmm He did. So yeah. now what are you gonna do when you graduate? Uh work your time! <laughs> Woo! She'll be tails up pup all day, every day. You already yep. are. Your hours right. will just switch around a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I'll just uh, start working here more often. Yes. But if you guys have any questions about Cricut and any of this stuff, let us know. We can always do more parts to this. Um, just let us know what you would want to know or see. And 
Um, yeah, I feel like that's it. Uh, I guess I can't upload this today since I showed the box. How many people would actually have been the ones who ordered the box who are watching this? Oh, I don't know. But if this does go up soon, reminder that the webinar is tomorrow. I'm super, super excited. People were signing up after the vlog yesterday. So I'm so glad that you guys are going to be there hanging out with us. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and go follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.